AutoCAD 2018 offers subtle but powerful enhancements to make selecting and snapping to objects easier than ever. Sometimes, especially in large crowded drawings, you may want to zoom into a specific area of the drawing to begin a selection set and then continue the same selection set as you pan and zoom around the drawing. In AutoCAD 2018, you can do that. If you're using a rectangular window or crossing selection, for example, or even polygonal, fence, or lasso selections, you can begin the selection window in one part of your drawing and then pan and zoom to another part while maintaining selection of the off-screen objects. You can control the behavior of off-screen selection using the Selection Off-Screen System variable. Selection of line types is also improved in AutoCAD 2018. With line type gap selection enabled, you can now select and snap to complex and DGN line types, even on the gaps between the line segments. And you're not limited to simple geometry like lines and circles. It's supported by all objects, such as polylines that have a width and splines. PDF is a common file format used when exchanging design data between designers, contractors, clients, and others. AutoCAD 2017 introduced the ability to import data from PDF files into AutoCAD as 2D geometry, true type text, and images. AutoCAD 2018 offers many enhancements to that PDF import functionality. When you select a PDF file to import, a preview image helps you visually identify the file. Additional improvements include improved scaling of PDF geometry from layouts. When a PDF file is created from a drawing, text that was defined with SHX fonts is stored in the PDF as geometry because the PDF file format doesn't understand AutoCAD SHX fonts. If that PDF file is then imported into AutoCAD, the original SHX text is imported as geometry. So, you end up with a bunch of little lines, arcs, and circles. It looks fine, but isn't very conducive to editing. Fortunately, AutoCAD 2018 offers an SHX text recognition tool that enables you to select imported PDF geometry representing SHX text and convert it to text objects. Access this functionality from the Recognize SHX Text tool on the Insert ribbon tab. The SHX Recognition tool analyzes clusters of geometry, such as lines and polylines, from your selection set and compares them to characters in the specified SHX files. A Settings option is available to help you manage which SHX fonts you'd like to compare against the selected text as well as to control some settings during the conversion. The most common SHX fonts are listed by default, but you can add or remove SHX fonts based on your needs. Then, select which fonts in the list you want to compare against the selected text. AutoCAD will compare each of the selected fonts in order until one is found that matches the selected text within the specified recognition threshold. An option to use the best matching font ensures AutoCAD compares the text to all of the selected fonts and chooses the best one. After comparing the geometry to the SHX fonts, the geometry that matches is automatically replaced with one or more MText objects. A message box displays the results. The Convert to MText Express tool enables you to combine many individual text objects into one multi-line text object. This can be particularly useful after recognizing and converting SHX text from an imported PDF file. Each of these lines of text, for example, are individual MText objects. Access the Convert to MText tool from the Express Tools ribbon tab or the Combine Text tool on the Insert ribbon tab. They both launch the text to mText command. You can select mText objects in addition to text objects. A settings option on the command line displays the text to mText settings dialog box. 
You can specify whether or not to combine the selected objects into a single mText object, or simply convert any selected text objects to mText without combining them. The top-down sorting order is relative to the current UCS, and sorting is left to right when text objects are collinear. Justification is inferred based on the positioning of the text objects in the drawing instead of always using top-left justification. And, when word wrap text is selected, numbered and lettered list formatting is inferred. If a line starts with one or two characters followed by a period and up to 10 spaces, list formatting is automatically applied. A new option enables you to force uniform line spacing. With multiple text and mText objects combined into one single well-formatted mText object, you can continue adding and editing text using AutoCAD's powerful and intuitive mText editor. Enhancements in the AutoCAD 2018 release help reduce the problems created by broken reference paths. Using relative paths instead of full paths can help you avoid many of the problems associated with broken reference paths. In AutoCAD 2018, when you attach an external file to an AutoCAD drawing, the default path type is now set to Relative Path instead of Full Path. If Relative Path isn't your preferred path type, you can use the new Ref Path Type system variable to modify the default reference path type. Set the value to 0 for No Path, 1 for Relative Path, or 2 for Full Path. In previous releases of AutoCAD, you can't assign a relative path to a reference file when the host drawing has not been saved and is therefore unnamed. In AutoCAD 2018, you are able to assign a relative path to a file even when the host drawing is unnamed. If you select the reference file in the External References palette, the Saved Path column displays a full path with an asterisk prefix to indicate that a change will take place when you save the host drawing. A property in the Details pane also indicates that the reference file is pending a relative path. Even if you begin implementing relative paths as a best practice for referencing files, it's still likely that you'll continue to run across broken paths or missing files in drawings that have not yet been accurately updated with relative paths. Those files may not exactly be missing, it just may be that their paths, often full paths, are pointing to an old or inaccurate location. In AutoCAD 2018, the contextual menu of the External References palette offers two new options when you right-click on a reference file that is not found. The option to select New Path allows you to browse to a new location for a missing reference file. While fixing the path for that selected file, you're given the option to apply the same new location for other missing references. And if your ref path type system variable is set to 1, it automatically converts those xrefs to relative paths even if they were originally full paths. The find and replace option offers another method for changing the saved path. It enables you to select one or more reference files and replace any occurrences of an existing path with a new one. This method also honors the ref path type system variable. You can see it automatically converted the full paths to relative paths. You can, of course, manually change the path type for selected references. For example, several of these xrefs were found, but they're still using a full path, which may cause problems later if the folders are moved. When you choose Change Path Type from the right-click or toolbar menus, the current path type of the selected reference is disabled. This helps you identify which type of path is currently used so that you can more easily choose which alternate path type to use. To further minimize problems with broken external reference paths, if the current drawing includes relative references and you save it to a different location, you're prompted to automatically update the relative paths based on the new location of the host drawing. Nested, or child references, now display as orphaned instead of unreferenced if their parent drawing is unloaded or not found. 
and to further help you identify problems with broken nested references, orphaned references now display in the proper tree view location, even when missing. The open option is no longer disabled when you right-click on an unloaded reference in the external references palette, enabling you to quickly open unloaded reference files. If you rename an unloaded reference in the external references palette, it no longer automatically reloads. It remains unloaded until you intentionally reload it. If you rename an externally referenced file from a tool other than the external references palette, such as the rename dialog box or the classic XREF manager, the new reference name is automatically updated in the XREF palette. You no longer have to reload it to see the new name. AutoCAD 2018 offers many technology and performance enhancements. The DWG format has been updated to provide improvements in the efficiency of open and save operations, especially for drawings that contain many annotative objects and viewports. Additionally, 3D solid and surface creation is now using the newest geometric modeler, which has improved security and stability. Save performance is further improved in AutoCAD 2018. Objects that will experience the greatest improvement include blocks with annotation scaling, mText with columns and other newer formatting, as well as attributes and attribute definitions with multilines. In addition, autosave has changed from performing a full save to performing incremental saves. If you run older releases of AutoCAD on high-resolution monitors, you may notice that some elements in the user interface, such as the content on the Start tab, are really small. User interface elements such as toolbars, viewport controls, grips, the pick box, and view cube may be uncomfortably small, while other elements, like the command line, are a bit too large. Palettes and dialog boxes may be difficult to read because some text is too small while other text is too large. Fortunately, AutoCAD 2018 offers significant improvements for high-resolution monitors. The Start tab, Pick Box, Grips, Command Line, View Cube, Toolbars, Palettes, and Dialog Boxes are appropriately scaled and displayed as per the window setting to ensure the best possible viewing experience, even on 4K displays and higher. An update to graphics performance enables you to turn off smooth line display while still taking advantage of high quality geometry. You can access the Graphics Performance dialog box from the Hardware Acceleration tool on the status bar. Additional improvements include better performance with low-end devices and higher resolution displays, as well as for regen and redraw of hatch patterns. AutoCAD 2018 also offers significant improvements when using zoom, pan, and 3D orbit operations in commonly used visual styles. Many larger drawings will no longer degrade as you navigate around the model. In fact, the performance for manipulating 3D models is approaching that of 2D drawings. Design views enable you to easily publish views of drawings to the cloud to facilitate collaboration with stakeholders while also protecting your DWG files. You can access the Design View tool from the Publish Flyout on the Application menu or from the A360 ribbon tab. Design View functionality is enhanced in AutoCAD 2018 to support the new DWG file format. You can choose to publish and display in your browser right away or receive a notification on the status bar when all view processing is complete. While the design view is uploading and processing in the cloud, you can continue working in AutoCAD without disruption. Stakeholders reviewing the design don't have to log in to A360 or have an AutoCAD-based product installed. And, since they don't have access to source DWG files, you can feel comfortable sharing views of your design with anyone who needs it. The design views are posted online with a link you can share with collaborators. You can easily access your recent uploads from the A360 Viewer homepage. By default, uploads are only available for 30 days. Now, however, you can extend a design view for an additional 30 days 
and continue to do so as needed. In addition to sharing your design views, you can post, review, and resolve comments. The AutoCAD 2018 release continues to improve the way you interact with AutoCAD. The file navigation dialog boxes for operations such as Open, Save, Attach, and many others now remember the sort order of the column. If, for example, you sort by date modified or reverse sort by file name, the next time you access that dialog box, it will automatically display files using that same sort order. And in AutoCAD 2018, the Drafting Settings dialog box can now be stretched and resized, similar to most other dialog boxes, enabling you to view and access more information. The True Color tab in the Select Color dialog box has been updated to accept RGB values. The previous Color field is renamed to RGB Color, allowing you to enter valid RGB Color values separated by commas. For easy access to layer controls, regardless of which ribbon tab is current, a layer option has been added to the Quick Access Toolbar menu. Turn it on to display the layer controls along with other frequently used tools on the ever-present Quick Access Toolbar. The status bar icon for the System Variable Monitor tool is displayed when system variables deviate from their preferred values. In AutoCAD 2018, a right-click menu has been added to the system variable icon, providing quick access to reset system variables to their preferred values without having to open the System Variable Monitor dialog box. The right-click menu also includes options to configure the System Variable Monitor and enable balloon notification. A rubber band line is the line that stretches dynamically within the drawing area as you move the cursor between two points. For example, if you move or copy an object by picking the base point and second point, a rubber band line is temporarily displayed until you pick the second point. In AutoCAD 2018, the rubber band line is added to the long list of interface elements for which you can control the color. Access that control from the Colors button on the Display tab of the Options dialog box. You'll see the rubber band element displayed for all the relevant contexts enabling you to apply different colors depending on the context in which you're working. 